Hey, we're following developing news out of Miami. That's where police are investigating a big rollover crash on the John F. Kennedy Causeway. Let's get over to Local 10's Trent Kelly live at this scene this morning. Trent. Yes, Ira, the car involved in all of this still here on scene, although you can see it is now on the back of that flatbed tow truck. North Bay Village Police now telling us all of this started when they attempted to pull over that car just a short distance away from here. The driver, though, refusing to stop before later losing control, slamming into a large rock and then flipping over. A wild rollover wreck near North Bay Village overnight, landing two people in police custody and sending debris all over this parking lot near the Pelican Harbor Marina. The crash happening on the John F. Kennedy Causeway between North Bay Village and Miami. According to investigators, the car involved was seen speeding through the village while heading towards the mainland when the driver lost control and crossed the median, slamming into a large rock and flipping over. The mangled vehicle coming to a rest on its roof with the driver and a passenger later taking off running. Police using a canine to track them down, one found hiding in some nearby bushes, the other found swimming in the water near the marina. Our cameras later capturing one of the suspects limping while being led away in handcuffs. Investigators flipping their car over while preparing to tow it away. So back out here live, officers insist this was never a chase. Again, they say that driver sped away on his own after that attempted traffic stop before then losing control. So far, the names and possible charges facing those two suspects have not been released. It's also not clear why officers were attempting to stop that car in the first place. In the meantime, we should tell you the marina here behind me remains closed to all boaters. We've seen a few people coming by with boats over the past few hours hoping to get in. But again, the marina here is now closed until crews can uh, finish cleaning up this mess left behind. For now, that is the latest live from Miami this morning. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.